50 years ago, we almost lost one of the most famous art pieces of all time. In 1475, Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni, aka Michelangelo, was born in Florence, Italy. Michelangelo is most known for his works The David, a 17-foot statue of the biblical figure David that's located today in Florence, and The Creation of Adam, which resides in the Sistine Chapel. During his early years at the age of 15, Michelangelo went to the Platonic Academy in Florence where his work was heavily critiqued by some of the best artists at the time. When he was 17, Pietro Torrigiano, another student, struck Michelangelo and broke his nose. According to Torrigiano, this Buonarroti and I used to learn drawing from the chapel of Masasio. It was Buonarroti's habit to banter all who were drawing there. And one day, among others, when he was annoying me, I got more angry than usual and clenching my fist gave him such a blow on the nose that I felt bone and cartilage go down like a biscuit beneath my knuckles. And this mark of mine he will carry with him to the grave. Pietro then had to flee to Spain where he died in prison. The disfigurement of Michelangelo's nose is noticeable in every single portrait ever made of him. During this time, Michelangelo learned subtractive sculpting, which entails the use of a mallet and chisel to create a figure out of a marble block. He was also notorious for using painting techniques such as Buen Fresco, which includes an artist quickly painting on wet plaster. The benefit to this is the durability. Since the paint becomes a part of the wall, it will not chip like normal paint usually will. The disadvantage to this is that it has to be done quickly and without mistakes. This alone should tell you how good Michelangelo was. But before Michelangelo created the Statue of David and the Creation of Adam, at the age of 23 he created the Pieta, which translates from Italian to pity. This sculpture depicts Mary holding Jesus after the crucifixion. Michelangelo traveled to Carrera, a city in Tuscany, to find the finest piece of marble for the Pieta, which is now known as Carrera Marble. The other thing that makes the Pieta special is that it's the only artwork that Michelangelo has ever signed. Taking a closer look across Mary's chest, it reads Michelangelo Bonarotis Florentine Faciba, which in English reads Michelangelo Bonarotti Florentine made this. This came about when Michelangelo heard kids talking about how the artwork was from a guy in a different town. He obviously didn't like this and knew he had to put his mark on it. But one day, it almost all came crashing down. On May 21st, 1972, a 33-year-old Hungarian geologist named Laszlo Toth climbed over the rail at St. Peter's Basilica and started smashing Michelangelo's Pieta with a hammer while yelling, I am Jesus Christ risen from the dead. The attack took Mary's arm off up to her elbow as well as chipping to the face. About a hundred fragments of marble littered the floor after the attack. In a restoration attempt that took 10 months, restorers used invisible glue and Carrera marble dust to put together the statue again. To this day, the Pieta now sits behind bulletproof glass at St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. As for Toth, in 1973, he was sent to a psychiatric hospital in Italy. After two years, he was immediately deported to Australia where he studied geology in the past. He was never charged for the crime and apparently became a hermit in in New South Wales, Australia, where he died in 2012.